In today's drawing, this sketch is of Noah Lyles. He is a 100 meter and 200 meter professional sprinter. The pen that I'm using is a big ballpoint. It is a fine point pen. And the sketchbook that I'm drawing in is the Pentalic sketchbook. It's a small sketchbook, but it's very convenient when you're out somewhere and you want to do a sketch. It fits in your pocket. You can store it in a small bag. And it's just overall easy to take with you and sketch on the spot. But I like using this sketchbook because I don't have to spend a lot of time on each drawing. I can do a drawing really quick and then move on to the next one. But the drawing that I'm doing here of Noah Lyles, I had asked him in one of his videos, I commented and asked if he would like me to do a drawing of him. And so this is what I had worked on. Now I do plan on in the future doing another drawing of him that is more realistic, uh, more detailed. This one only took me maybe 40 minutes to draw. And when I get that one done, I'll upload that as a video for all of you to see. But the sketch here that I'm doing is just with a big ballpoint pen. And I wasn't too worried about trying to make it perfect or anything. I just wanted to sketch something because I've been doing a lot of doodling with my roaching isographs, with fine liners and sharpie pens. I wanted to get a little bit of ballpoint practice in. And a little bit of practice drawing portraits because... I took a break for maybe a, a week or two from drawing portraits. I've been really busy working on trying to put together new parts to build myself a new computer for video editing. And the last part that I have to get should be here in a few days. Um, there were some changes to the shipping and I would bought the last part. And they ended up having to get more stock of that product and then ship it out a few days later. So. It was going to take me another week before I can get that done. But once I do get all the computer parts here, I'll record myself putting the computer together and everybody can see that in a video that I will be uploading. In other news, today has been a rainy day. I didn't have much energy today to do much of anything. Kind of just a relaxing day to just relax a bit think about things, and had a lot of random thoughts. I was thinking about when I was younger and I used to play this game called Empire Earth, and I remember I played Age of Mythology as well. I never played Empire Earth 3, the last one I played was Empire Earth 2, and I've been told that Empire Earth 3 wasn't that great. So I like to keep the memories of Empire Earth being a good game. And the last time I played Empire Earth 2 was back in 2006 or 2007 was the last time I played Empire Earth 2. So it's been about, let's see here, 13 years now? Yeah, about 12 or 13 years since I played that game. That's quite a while. Age of Mythology, I don't remember too much about that game, although I did play it a lot. There were some things from my past, I just, I don't do a very good job of remembering a lot of it. But um, yeah, that was a really fun game playing. Empire Earth 2 was a game to where you would have civilizations and each of them were from different ages. and You would advance the technology, advance the civilization and gather resources, and fight off enemies and build up an army. And I liked the really competitive aspect of the game, but one problem I did have was the AI. I think the AI was cheating because I remember doing the campaigns, and the the amount of units the enemy would have was just completely endless. Like, they would just keep sending more and more units, and they just would not go away. And they would get units for free. I mean, they, they they didn't have to worry about gathering resources. They had unlimited supply. And another problem I remember I had was that the AI knew where all of your units were. It knew exactly what you were building. So anytime you were trying to make something, it was able to counter it. And 
it would know all of your technology and upgrades and everything. So the AI did a lot of cheating. And I remember many times I would try to make gigantic armies like the epic scenes in Lord of the Rings where there's, there's tens of thousands and tens and thousands of units. And I tried to do that on the computer and it was just this old e-machine computer that I had back in 2004. And if you look at technology now and like computers and processors, it's way more advanced than what it used to be. But I remember trying to build those big armies in the game and the whole time it was just lagging really bad and it just could not render really much of anything. But now that I'm building this new computer, video editing is going to run much more smoothly. I'm going to be able to add a lot of effects and everything and I won't have to worry about my system being just maxed out and having the program crash and everything like how my computer used to do when I played Empire Earth 2 on max settings. I actually had to lower it to minimum settings just for it to even be playable, but sometimes I try to put it on max settings just because I wanted the better graphics, but yeah, we know how that goes when your computer's not good enough to uh, run the game, but I had a lot of fun playing that. I might do a couple of episodes on here playing some games and you all can watch. I'll try to think about what I can play, but we'll see. Until then, thank you for watching, and you have a good day. Have fun drawing, and whatever else it is that you do in life. See ya.